everybody. My guest tonight. I'm excited too. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest this evening is a Tony and Emmy Award winning actor you know from X Men, Les Mis, and The Greatest Showman. He now stars in the new movie Reminiscence. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Hugh Jackman. It's that's something coming out of the pandemic. This is my first. This is the first I've had. You're the first in ever, front of an all of you. No, yeah. What an honor. What it feels an honor. good. So, okay, we have not spoken since the pandemic began. We, yeah. haven't, we haven't spoken since before. How, how fared you during the pandemic? <laughs> Obviously, it was never a great situation. But no. what, 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 well, what did you here. do with yourself? I was here. You were here, right? I was New on. York. I was on. You were in New York? But you were in, yeah, I was in New York, so yeah. I was here the whole time, and it was, well, pick an adjective, it was everything, right? It was, it was frightening, it was weird, it was strange. I had my 16 and 21-year-olds with me all the time, hating it, of course, right? Because they're stuck with you. Right. I mean, yeah. what 16, 21-year-old wants to have, like, nine months with their parents? And, and the parents, like... <laughs> I had the same thing. Monopoly. Our kids were How about Monopoly? Us, Remember, like, Let's Monopoly. do a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make some bread. Let's do this. <laughs> exactly. Literally, oh. oh, this is the worst. But, you know, it was such a bizarre situation. And, uh, you know, being here, I, I, I just was filled with such gratitude for the people who were going out every single day, making it possible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Essential workers, yeah. hospital workers. Yeah. Did you go back to Australia? How long yeah, before so you went I, back to Australia? Well, I just went down now. And, and Australia's completely different. They're, I mean, they're having a... a a bit of an outbreak right now, but for many months there was not one case, zero cases across the country. So it's, I, I actually had to go into a hotel quarantine for two weeks when I went down there. So really? every, every, everyone arrives, goes what into did, a hotel. What did you learn or, about yourself in that quarantine? Because <laughs> it's like an isolation I, chamber. Yeah. What, 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 what does Hugh Jackman learn about Hugh Jackman? I'm being really alone for two boring, weeks? right? I'm like, <laughs> It turns out, like, you know, I say, oh, my wife's the best thing about me. It's true. She is literally, <laughs> without her there, and I'm like, ring her, she goes, babe, I'm sick. Yeah, no, could you just, like, tell me some stories or fun? Or then tell me I'm okay. Like, <laughs> it was a little weird. If you're in a hotel room yeah. and you're bored of, of being Hugh Jackman, right. you should check out the pay-per-view movies because there's some really good Hugh Jackman <laughs> movies. <laughs> To watch on pay per view. Well, really of course, fun. I watch them, but that's like 10 hours a day. But after that. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do after and that? And of course, the pandemic, I made huh? my kids watch all my movies. But you know, that's normal, like on a Saturday, Sunday, and exactly. a Monday. And a Wednesday, and a Thursday. But you know, like, that's normal, right? Uh, I make them watch my show. <laughs> now, I know you do. When you. <laughs> when, uh, when you when Broadway gets back up, it's one of yeah. the more exciting things I'm looking forward to this fall. Is when uh, it comes September, Broadway's going to open back up, and <laughs> one of the things I'm most excited about is I look out my window, my office window, and I look out at a billboard at you, right, <laughs> as Harold Hill from The yep. Music Man, because you're gonna be at the Winter Garden this winter as The Music Man. Just, 
over there, right? Just over there, exactly. We can do a job swap. It's like two blocks away. Sure. Like a week. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheap, cheap, cheap. Pick a little, pick a little more. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little. Good night, lady. Wow. Good night, lady. You're ahead of me. How much of it do you know? What? I'm done. That's all I know. Really? That's all I know. None of the opening? Uh, salesman? What, what, how's it go? He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man. And he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rattus head drums and the big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo uniforms too with a shiny gold braid on a coat and a big red stripe. Hey, I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can't make a living selling big trombones. No, sir. Mandolin picks perhaps and here and there juice up. Nope. Fellow sells bands. Always bands. So now he does it. But he lives like a king, and he dallies, and he gathers, and he puffs, and he shines. And when the man dances, certainly boys wide else, the pipe bass him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. That is, that is officially, I want you to know, this is your return to Broadway tonight. That's that is Broadway it. out there, and this is the theater. Good night. That's it. We're done. We're done. Well, that's exciting. Have you ever played this part before? Because you seem like a natural for Harold Hill. The very first thing I did at high school was a music band. I was, I was, that's why I know they bit. I was salesman number two, but I, you know, was Who's bitter. salesman number two? He's the one who Harold Hill keeps ruining. He's a what? He's a what? That was it. Oh, that guy. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> music man. And then that's it. And then a lot of standing there with, oh, the Wells Fargo the wagon, wagon is coming down the jungle. Please let it be for me. Hugh, if you could just take it down a little bit. Okay. okay. <laughs> we actually have some footage of here, you training for it. This is you working on the old tap dance, Jim. Oh, right. Obvious question <laughs> here. Obvious question is uh, that doesn't look easy. How? No. What do you have to train harder for, Harold Hill in The Music Man or Wolverine? <laughs> Different training, obviously, but I'm still going to say Wolverine, probably. Really? Although I, I've really been going for a year and a half. We, was, we just kept rehearsing. Oh, February, yeah. So it's been a year and a half. We've been rehearsing for this. So. Uh, it certainly takes me a lot longer. I'm not like a trained dancer. I wasn't a trained singer, so You're I had to learn that. You're not a trained dancer, but the no. boy from Oz and no, all I'm that? Sure. I'm pretending. I'm just pretending. <laughs> You're no, acting like a dancer? No, like as That's a kid, I wasn't. Were? Yeah, no, so I've learned as an adult. So I have to do that all the time. I sing every day. I have singing lessons every week. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm literally faking it all. Everything <laughs> faking it. Sorry. We actually have to take a quick break. Right. Uh, but when we come back, I'll ask Hugh what part he always wanted to play. Uh, he could play if he got to play any part he wanted to play. Mm.